Yeah, what's up YouTube? Not much wind forecast until next Tuesday. So thought it would be a good idea to take the turbine down uh, while my mates here take the motor out and then I can do the job on the adding the new 20 tooth gear to the motor which you can see just there See if it lands in the right spot by itself. Oh, it's cagey. It's cagey, but good enough. Thank you. All. So, this is the one that needs changing. This one. Let's go get the tools. Right. It is Saturday, Tuesday, July the 12th, I believe. And I just want to show you uh, this is about adding a weight. To the blades to get it balanced as good as we can do it so firstly let's give it a spin and see what happens and it's going to be heavy somewhere and the heavy blade will land at the bottom we shall view in the real time <clears throat> she's my pretty one We will be making the power large in it. <clears throat> oh, there we go. The heavy blades just swung it round a little bit more. And back again. And back again. Right, let's do another test. It's purely coincidental that that blade has tape on the end of it. It was meant to kind of act as a unique identifier while it was up on the tower, so that can be taken off. Just wanted to show you, before we put the weight on, what it's doing. Now, I find that very strange. I think that's just coincidence. The extra weight is situated between two of the blades and the blade hitting the top now is the one that needs extra weight adding to it. I repeat, the blade hitting the top now needs the extra weight adding to it. Sorry, so it's these very strange clouds in a minute. It's getting dark in the countryside. Right, here we go. Now this should show us correctly. Sweet. Right, let's put that weight on and then we'll give it a go. Greetings YouTube. It is Tuesday the 12th of July 2022 and mate came around and we took the turbine down earlier and started looking at this and ended up with a weight there approximately. So let me just spin it around and we'll see where it lands and how it, how it goes. <clears throat>
and see if that one drops down any. It seems like it wants to. Let's stop there, so that isn't bad. Let's give it another go. So I'm just going to try the weight a tiny little bit further up. That's literally two millimetres. Oh, not sure if it's trying to come down or not. No, I think that's fine. Let's just give it another whiz, check it wasn't beginner's luck. Yes, I think that's pretty good. So I've done quite a lot of stuff today, so I'm feeling pretty bushed. What I'm gonna to do tomorrow is I'm gonna drill quite a large hole straight through the center of the blade. And then we're gonna fill that in with some heavy metal and give the outside a proper finish. You won't be able to tell it's in there. There's no chance of it coming out. The only way, the only force that's gonna be acting on this weight internally is trying to push it that way out and it isn't gonna happen if there's a proper hole drilled silver resin <clears throat> so that's the plan may end up having to add a, add a bit more weight on but i'll have to weigh that clamp that's the whole point of uh using something have to weigh how much weight that is one idea i did have i was talking to my mate about it is these arms as we'll call them the blade the blade hub arms we could easily make some kind of fixture for the actual blade itself the bolts over and then the blade can move up and down it would have to have a stop at the bottom and a stop at the top so that it couldn't jump out that way off the blade but then what we would have to do is we would have to have like a triangle here of metal and heavy very heavy duty springs connecting to the bottom of the blade structure which again would be a metal kind of tray that could slide up and down but that's one idea crazy idea i had so you may see that in the near future the idea of that, I guess, is that it would extend 
it would add a foot to the rotor diameter if it worked properly. If it hit 250 RPM and the blades then shifted out, it might help, it might be cool. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think it would look very cool. Ooh. But anyway, I'm feeling pretty bushed today, so tomorrow's plan, we know, know exactly where we're going, we'll weigh it, and then we'll crack on. The wind situation, there's no wind till next Tuesday, one week from now. So we want to get everything done that we can do. Certainly want the blades balancing. And yes, the other major job is, the other job is the motor, obviously, which is seen here with the 26 tooth gear sprocket on, and which is going to have a 20 tooth gear sprocket on. That is the other major job. If we can do those two things by next Tuesday, which we will, then we'll get a good run, I reckon. It's going to need, once I put this on, it's going to need more wind than it does now to get started. Uh, all will be revealed in an upcoming episode. So I'm going to get all that done very soon, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.